Hello everyone and uh, welcome. My first video about the offset smoke cushions I got it a couple of months ago. I decided to make a new video on this and uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna install these uh, two temperature gauges on the great temperature uh, to get a great temperature. So one, one probably around here somewhere and one over there just like that. Found those on Amazon like ten dollars six dollars for both. It'll be great to show me the great temperature. That one is very good but it's uh, tells me the temperature that's above right there so I want something more accurate right here uh, we're gonna need tape measure marker a drill and now uh, let's get going all right so I have my tape measure and the marker I was looking to see where it would be the best spot for it is the crate so the crate is probably right here I decided to put one in this little corner right there so my measure on one on uh, both sides so I measure like exactly seven inches from from this lip right here and then uh, from here four inches I'm not sure if you can see but I put a little mark right there so four seven so my idea was just to match up with this right here so it'd be a perfect line I was planning on putting those like right here, but I think this is too close to the stack. So right there, perfect. Same thing, uh, I'm not sure if you can see me or not, but same thing over here. I got seven inches and four inches, like right there. All right, now I'm gonna find the right drill bit and uh, I'm gonna drill those. And uh, yep, let's do it. All right, I got my drill right here. I think it's a 516 I'm trying to make the hole and then make some nice threads now it's gonna match up my uh, my temperature gauge but let's see how that one uh, turns out so I don't have no glasses no gloves but make sure you wear glo uh, gloves and glasses okay and, uh, measure like 20 times before you make a hole all right put this on second speed right there all right let me see what we get Thick metal. It's almost there. There we go. This is it. All right, let me see if my uh, tap and die kit fits in this, and uh, I'll be right back. But so far, it looks good. All right, I'm back. So I got this right here. It just uh, comes out easy like that. And then it's uh, just like a regular hammer drill, screws and unscrews like that. And I have it in this easy 516 uh, 18 threads. So let me see what I got here. That's a fail right there. Make this more tighter. Okay. All right, there we go. Straight in like that and spin. There we go. Oops, gotta keep it straight, otherwise it's not gonna be good. Hopefully you can uh, see me. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Just gotta be very gentle with this. There we go. Hopefully this is the right size. If not, I gotta... If it's, hopefully it's, if it's not the right size, it's gonna be a one bigger. So I can redo it, but if not, we have a plan B. If this don't work, I'll show you. All right, I'm gonna speed this process. That's all be. This is a very like detailed video, so. I got those from uh, Amazon. I'm gonna link, uh, put a link in the description. And also, this is just a regular tap, tap and die kit, kit. And I'm using 516, uh, 18. So, made that one in. Hopefully, my, my threads are good. But uh, let's see. I think I got it. It looks, it looks good. Nice threads. Let's see. Look at that. It goes in perfect. Look at that. 
Let me just spin it so it stays straight. <clears throat> Look at that. Probably need a, like a tiny wrench, but it's all, almost there. A little more. Look at that. Perfect. Let me see if I can uh, focus better for you. Okay. Got one in. We're gonna repeat the process on the other side, and uh, that should do it. It looks it looks good. Even if it sticks out a little bit, that's that's fine. I got it right there. Once I'm done with the other side, I'm gonna lift uh, lift up the lid and uh, show the other side on the inside. All right. Let me repeat the process on the other one. All right. Once again, drill. That's where my mark is right there. Perfect. Get my my uh, tool right there. Same thing. Straight in, spin it. Straight in, spin it. Just like that. Once you get the hang of it, right there. There we go. There we go. Once it goes in a little bit, it will be much easier. It goes by itself, look at that. That's it. Take it out, nice and easy. Bam, right there. Again, what uh, wear gloves and uh, protection glasses, okay? I got experience, so I know what I'm doing. I'm doing. Uh, B plan was just to make a bigger hole and use this little uh, knots over here, the hand tightening knots, like that. But I guess threaded is better. Let's see. I see the threads. They look good. Hopefully, let right me. Spin this in. Come on. There we go. Thread, thread, thread. Look at that. Perfect. Let me try and make this uh, nice and straight like the other one. Almost there. I think it looks... It looks pretty good. They put this crooked from the factory. That it's okay. Well, nice. Alright, let me show you the overalls. See if I can uh, zoom in on this really quick. Right there, focus, and then you have the other one right there. Come on, focus, please. And then the top one, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna have, I have a matching one for the top, so. All right, let me take this one out and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, I got some hand tools. Let me see if I can uh, take this one out. I like this one a lot. The problem with this is that you don't have zero or something, it just starts from 200. I'm assuming zero is around like where uh, 450 is, so it's like 80 outside, it shows me, but it starts from 200, so that's annoying. All right, let me put the other one I have over there. All right, let me see. I know those threads are a little bit messed up, so I'm gonna try and make this one work. Somehow. Oh, come on. All right, let me spin it. There you go. It works. Once I'm done with this, I'm gonna show you on the overalls so you can see it better. Come on. Damn, that's tough. I think I went a little bit too much. Let me go back. Right there. Alrighty. Got the big one, big, big, big one. Right there. Alright, let me move the camera. 
more like towards the back and uh, show you nowhere else. If you have the right tools, this is an easy job. It will take you like 10 15 minutes tops with the tools and everything. So, alrighty. Alright, as you can see, got matching set. This is the big mama right here. This is the mother of the gauges, the big ass one. What is like four or five inches diameter. I'm gonna wipe this clean, super nice. And then I have this babies right here. It's like uh, two inches. Bam, right there. And uh, okay, let me show you the insides how they look like. Let me see, right there. Focusing. Not much you can see. Let me get closer. You got the idea. It just uh, sticks out this much. So, it'll be perfect. Great temperature right here. And this is the top temperature. So, bam, right there. All right, as you can see, back one right there. Let me work my focusing skills. And then this in the front right there. And then the top one right there. Perfect. All right, since I got you here, uh, let's do a burn test and uh, see how they perform. And also I'm gonna show you my other mods I have over here. All right, let's see. I got this uh, stack extension right there. It's uh, actually a flue pipe from a furnace. I put the reducer five to six inches and then uh, just down like 20 inches. And uh, I also have a modified baffle. Let me show you. All right, so I used my grinder and uh, cut this one off. It was, you know, regular, just like that. Then I made the piece of cardboard, nice and round like this. Took it out, measured this old baffle from the cardboard and just cut it out with the grinder, made some holes, and it fits perfect right there, look at that. And now I have, uh, hopefully, like, uh, even tem temperature across, across the grates. So, yeah. All right, let me start the fire really quick and uh, see how my new temperature gauges perform. Alrighty. I just have, like, little, uh, I guess, junk wood I have from uh, splicing out the wood for uh, real fire. So I'm just gonna burn this off and uh, see how the temperature gauges perform. I just have uh, two cubing, two cubes right here for starting the fire. Perfect, little torch. Alrighty, I'll be back in a couple minutes and uh, see the temperatures. All right, uh, my fire is still strong. The grill got super hot. So <clears throat> 300 right here and around like 340 right there. That's because I have the fire too strong. So it just, you know, heat travels. And uh, this one shows me 275, but it needs more time to stabilize, but they work. So maybe I have to modify my baffle a little bit. But my fire is still strong, as you can see, it's like 320 right there. Actually, three, 325, and this one is 350, so I got around 25 degrees uh, difference from the stack to the firebox. And this one shows 300 now, so it's pretty close to me. It just needs more time, uh, more time to stabilize, and uh, 350. 
325, so around 25 degrees. That's not bad. All right. <clears throat> uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like this video, please comment uh, down below and uh, let me know what do you want me to cook on the next video. If you want brisket, ribs, uh, chicken, whatever you want, just uh, let me know. And uh, also please subscribe and uh, for more awesome videos like this. Again, 360. It's, it's almost that even now. So, all right. I'm back on an update. Uh, filming from my phone. It's like uh, 45 minutes since I started the fire. Everything is hot and stabilized. Top temperature uh, 300. The left side where the stack is right there, it's got uh, 350. And then this other side, on the, close to the firebox, you got 330, 340, around there. So, it's pretty close if you ask me. All right, let me show you this. Nice even temps, almost even, perfect even. And the fire right here. Ooh. I'm not cooking anything today, just showing you a uh, better use of my phone. I can uh, move it more freely and easy. Alrighty.